All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a DIY. I'll tell you what that is here in a second. As you guys know, I like to do a lot of sporadic DIYs, a lot of sporadic projects. It's like six o'clock in the evening. Just got home from work not too long ago. And one of the things that I've been wanting to do for a while is just to build a fireplace. And so I got Brittany on board. She's excited, I'm excited. So what we're gonna be doing today is just building the outline of the fireplace that we wanna build. And we actually got this inspiration off of somebody that Brittany follows on Instagram and she has a blog post about it and so we'll put that link below and so we're excited to get this started and we hope that you guys are uh, as well and so if you guys would like to follow along on this DIY journey then just keep watching. Alright, hey guys, so today me and my wife have started our project of building our electric fireplace. Uh, as you can see, we've taped it out just so we know where the fireplace is going to go. And we went and picked up a couple items. So what I've got so far is 10 2x4s, and then I grabbed 4 uh, 1x8s, uh, about 6 feet long, because that's how wide we want our fireplace. As you can see, I already screwed one into the wall right there using the studs. And it's really a good idea to just kind of Mark your wall up, you know, your wall's gonna be covered, so mark it up with where the studs are. You see I drew the lines where the studs were uh, all the way up. That way, whenever I'm um, nailing boards onto the wall or screwing boards onto the wall, I know uh, exactly where the studs are. It just makes it a lot easier when we uh, actually get the supplies. A Couple of other things I got uh, that I didn't have already was just an uh, electric nail gun uh, because I don't have an air compressor, a couple chargers. I got a skill saw. And then uh, I got an impact driver to go with my screwdriver. All right guys, so we have the uh, four anchors up and ready to go. Now we just need to cut the two by fours to length and build the skeleton and then put it up. These anchors are important because this is gonna be basically the foundation of it all. We're not gonna be nailing any wood to the floor or to the ceiling, um, just to the wall where I where I set these uh, anchors at. So once you get these um, strong anchors in, then you can go ahead and start building the skeleton and I'll show you guys what that looks like. guys so after we get the anchors on the wall the next step is to put these frame walls up what we did was just took four two by fours and cut them to length uh, you want to measure from the the floor all the way up to uh, your ceiling and then subtract I subtracted a quarter inch just so it wouldn't be fully touching the ceiling and we'll cover that crack up when we put the chip lap up and the trim up so you won't even see it so just two uh, two by fours cut to length side by side with some more two by fours cut so that the whole depth is about a foot, uh, is what we measured. And then you want to go ahead and secure them to the anchors that you secured on the wall. So you need to do some research uh, on how deep your electric fire pit is gonna sit. Ours says about five and a half inches. So we went, went ahead and uh, cut this to about 10 inches just so we would have some play with cordage and whatever else we needed to do, we could make it recess a little bit more. So. We've got about 10 inches here. Just do some research and see how deep your fireplace sits. And then the next step after this is to build the front part of the skeleton, the front frame. And that's what we're gonna be doing now. And so to do that, you want to basically grab some two by fours. Again, you almost wanna cut it to length, but you're gonna subtract about an inch and a half, uh, just because when you buy two by fours, they normally come in one and a half by three and a half inches, so they kind of skimp you right there, but subtract one and a half inches from what this one is at, and then you're gonna go ahead and secure it to this side, that side, and then uh, I'll show you what we do after that. We'll put a two by four on top just to secure this front frame. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, my assistants come to help. 
Now we are going to nail the frame together just so we can hold it in place before we screw it in. Alright guys, so we got the whole front uh, skeleton on, as you can see, side, part of the skeleton, top, and then the middle, and the floor. So something that I did that I would suggest you do a little bit differently is I went ahead and put the outside of the front skeleton on first, and then I kind of put all the guts in uh, while this was already up, and it made it a little more difficult. Go ahead and assemble, like fit all your, your um, front frame pieces, make sure it fits good and then take it down and assemble it on the floor and go ahead and uh, once you have it assembled on the floor then, then you can lift it all up as one piece and then uh, nail it into the side frame and that's the easiest way to do it because this you know it like this I, I can't uh, go above and and screw this piece in from the top so I have to screw it in from the sides which doesn't have as strong as a hold so but yeah I got the whole front skeleton done the only thing left after this is to get the fireplace in and uh, then put the shiplap on. It's actually a really easy project, this part. I don't know about the shiplap, I've never put shiplap on, but I guess we'll see. But so far, so good. guys we're just about ready to put the tile on um, right now what we're doing is building kind of the structure where the tile is going to sit on so the tile is going to extend about three inches from the fireplace it's matte black tile I'll show you guys this is matte black uh, 3 by 12 inch tile um, we wanted to go with matte black because our fireplace is matte black on the edges and uh, around our TV is matte black as well. So it would just match. And the top, putting tile around, the black tile around the fireplace is just gonna make the fireplace look uh, a little bit bigger so that uh, the dimensions kind of match with our TV. So it's kind of even. And then once we put the mantle in, it'll kind of look symmetric. So that's kind of what we're going for now. So now we're just putting up this uh, thin 3 8 inch board just so that we can lay the tile on it. So yeah, that's what we have so far. So right now is about three weeks past when we did all of this stuff. We've been waiting on this tile for a very long time. Home Depot didn't have it in stock. Lowe's didn't have it in stock. But we finally got the tile in, so now uh, we're going to resume work. And hopefully this project gets done in this, uh, well, this weekend. It's Friday today, so hopefully we get done with it uh, by Sunday or Monday at least. All right, guys, so we got the border around it done. Now we're going to... Lay some tile. Alright guys, so we finished our fireplace. We, we haven't um, stained the mantle yet, but we're going to do that a little bit later on. It's a little late and I'm about to have a pretty busy uh, work week, so we're going to do that later. But we got pretty much all of it done. We still have to paint it white and cover up some of these uh, nail gun holes, but overall uh, we're pretty much done. Honestly, this, this project uh, should have only taken two weekends, uh, but we were waiting on this tile to come in. There was a lot of uh, places that didn't have it in stock, so we had to wait for them to get it in stock. And then once they got it in stock, we pretty much got, I mean, we got the ball rolling. So this was our first fireplace build. We didn't know what to expect when we went into it, but it looks exactly how we wanted it to look in, in uh, the beginning. So I guess that we have that going for us. All together, without excluding the TV, it was about $500 roughly. The fireplace cost us roughly $300. And then all the other uh, wood and supplies cost us roughly $200. So very cheap for a, a, a beautiful fireplace. Again, it puts out that comforting feeling in your living room, and that's what we were going for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you out if you plan on building a fireplace. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.